Now I'm going to defend Aiden Rossi, okay? Now the reason why he copyright claimed videos from smaller creators such as myself, it's because he thought that it was a bright idea to copyright claim videos for fun. However, what he didn't realize was that the idea was so bright that it blinded him from seeing just how stupid the idea was. Okay, seriously speaking, it wasn't him that chose me, it was this company that's backing him up. But I wanna go ahead and say, while every other medium YouTuber is getting their copyright claim nullified, such as Internet Anarchist, which by the way, no hate, I very much appreciate that. I'm happy that he got his uh, copyright claim nullified. But for us tiny creators, we will remain as nothing more than a whisper at a Travis Scott concert. And what's crazy is that I ended up getting that copyright claim about a week ago. And when I first got that notification, I thought that I had unlocked a new achievement on YouTube. Obviously that wasn't the case because it was a copyright claim. And more or less, I couldn't fight it. You see, in order for a channel to qualify for the YouTube partnership, they have to have absolutely no copyright strikes or no community guideline strikes. Now, if I appeal the claim, I could potentially be awarded a strike. Then I win to lose the opportunity of getting monetized. Now, when I first saw the claim, I saw that the claim was issued by Thumb Media Affiliate. Initially, I thought that it was I Show Speed since he had admitted that it was him who was Thumb Media Affiliate. YouTube asks y'all to stop spamming about these emails uh, about the cardigan and the Thumb Media Affiliate. That is me. Just wanted to let y'all know everybody know that. So, would y'all guys please stop? Thank y'all. Love y'all. However, upon closer inspection, we could see that the clip that was claimed is not of I Show Speed. It's of Aiden Ross. Unless, of course, I Show Speed purchased an Aiden Ross skin, then that would explain everything. However, as I dug further and further and further, aside from almost reaching China, all right, fine, I didn't really dig that deep, but this video did interest me. Uh -huh. W, chat, by the way, this is um Hassan's head moderator, chat. Put a W in the chat, we stole $8,000 from him. W, he needed that, yes, yes. <laughs> Yes! W, yes! <laughs> Do you even know what a W looks like? It doesn't look like this. And the thing is that I had to listen to this video on repeat. And I have to say that it sounds a lot better with broken headphones because I really couldn't wrap my mind around the idea that Aiden Ross was claiming other people, other creator videos. Why? Why? That, that's my cat right there. This is Hades. She don't love me. I know that asking Aiden a three letter question is very complex for him. It makes him feel like he has to carry the world on his shoulder. But my dude, charge whatever battery you have in your mind and really answer the question, really ponder on it. Why? Because I only used a bit of your clip. So that's, it's definitely, definitely within the fair use guidelines. I don't know if Aiden has gotten eye reduction surgery or something because now he can't see the big picture. Clearly though, however, it's not looking good for him. I guess he wants to make enemies now because he's lost the respect, the majority of the respect that the community had for him. And what's interesting is that Aiden, he has allies, allies that will support his terrible decision making. And I thought that this was pretty interesting. They're threatening Hassan Piker because Hassan had a couple of words for Aiden. And I guess this is one of Aiden's allies. I guess he had a couple of words to say about Hassan Piker. Here's the thing, okay? It doesn't matter how you feel towards Hassan Piker, okay? Whether you like him or dislike him. Threatening people, that's just not cool, man. That That's not cool. The reason why they're calling out Aiden Ross is because he broke a cardinal sin. Copyright claiming. Aiden Ross's terrible decision making should definitely be considered a concealed weapon. So comedically, He's armed and dangerous. I do also want to go ahead and just kind of make you guys aware, just in case any big YouTuber somehow ends up finding this insignificant video. Jamari ended up dropping some wisdom for smaller creators, which I thought was pretty interesting. And here's just a little word of advice if any other YouTubers are watching this, because I've had quite a few copyright disputes during my time here on the platform. Whenever someone comes through and tries to like manually claim something in my videos, 
if it's still within that first month where I'm gonna get paid the lion's share of the money from that video, all I do is I go to my YouTube studio, I use this built-in tool that'll pretty much take away all the footage that's been copyright claimed. After I do this, there's no way for them to reclaim it, the video is instantly remonetized, and I can go back to collecting my check from said video. Once I get the check the next month, I then go back and revert those changes, and then I dispute the copyright claim. So all that money just doesn't end up in limbo while we're in the dispute. There's a great little workaround that I've been using for years because like I've said, this system is actually very broken. I hope that this aids in your quest to retrieve potentially lost revenue because from what we've seen, Aiden, he's just taking money from content creators. Internet anarchists ended up losing about $8,000, which is pretty insane. So I suggest just listening to this really huge YouTuber who has been in the game for quite some time. I think that it would probably be effective. I have no wisdom because I don't even get paid for doing this. But one day. Now, man, it's it's, it's just quite unfortunate. I used to love Aiden Ross. I remember when he was just a chill dude playing 2K, performing funny acts. He used to be a sweetheart. But my dude, this, whatever this is, this is not an improvement. This is an impairment, but he's changed now. He's he's changed. I know some people will say that he changed for the better or worse. In my opinion, man, he didn't have to change anything. I don't know. I, I know that people grow, but if changing was his goal, he didn't have to change anything. He was perfect the way he was. I guess we're going to have to wait eight years before his brain can regenerate from whatever impact to suffer from. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. And yeah, hopefully you guys learned something today.